Hello, and welcome to an Inquisitive Crafter episode Ooh, 10. Episode 10. My name is Susie, and I'm coming to you from the Dallas, Texas area. And welcome to my podcast where I talk about things I am making and things I have finished, life stuff, plans, and dreams, all that good stuff. So sorry, Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Okay, that was hysterical. <laughs> that was really funny. I don't know what's going on there. Um, anyway, uh, I hope you have a beverage. I have some water. I have a cold or um, allergies probably. And so I have my water with my Magic Maker sticker, my Pac-Man yarn ball sticker, my Dragon Horde fiber sticker, a kid gave me a student, I'm a school teacher, I teach orchestra in middle school. She gave me a easy peasy lemon squeezy sticker. Oh, and my little gnome sticker. Anyway, cheers. All right, let's dive right in. Okay, since the last time I've talked to you, um, that was in February. It is now March 3rd, my dad's birthday, his 76th birthday. Um, I have finished the Magic Heel Socks Ribbed DK that um, is by Autumn Acorns. Um, I started this, I have my, my podcast journal that my sister gave me for Christmas. Um, I started this in, on January 1st and I finished them February 19th. Um, my, um, this is Freckled Whimsy DK uh, Advent Yarn from 2023. And what I like to do with my Advent yarns is I love to open them um, in Advent, in December, and then I make something with them starting January 1st. So my plan was to uh, finish them by the end of January. Well, then my husband went to the hospital and I couldn't. Uh, just, it was too much. So, but I finally finished them. They are so squishy. I've worn them twice already. Uh, it is a tube sock. I'm sorry I did not put those on sock blockers, but it's a tube sock, so what does it matter? Um, it has a beautiful, squishy rib front. And then the heel is a different kind of rib, just a, well, I don't know. And then the sole. And... I love this so much. It is so comfortable. It was a lot of fun to work with. The yarn is super soft and gorgeous. Um, I did notice that in my, I have white sneakers that I wore these with, um, both times actually, I think. I think so. And the blue, one of the blues, probably this one, wore like colored my foot for a couple of days. And I shower every day, so clean person, but colored my foot and, um, I guess it colored my shoe. I haven't even looked inside, but all the other colors were fine. I did not um, block them before I put them on and I will rinse them, wash them separately to make sure that the color doesn't bleed on anything else. But this was fun. Uh, the only problem I had, I think it's just because I am not a very experienced knitter, is that I would get lost in the rib. So that was a little bit of a challenge because it's a two row repeat and I would forget what row I was on and I wouldn't always count. But it did teach me to um, to learn how to read my knitting a little bit better. So that was a great inquisitive moment and my goal for the year is to grow. And so I did grow making these socks and I really enjoyed them. I'm very happy. They're super super soft and, and beautiful. Um, it, they came with a coordinating uh, yarn. So I did that for the heels and the toes. And then everything else is just the stripes in this one skein sock. So that was that, very excited about that. I also finished um, the Waymaker Cowl 
by Amanda Massingill. And this was uh, started on December 4th and finished February 11th. Um, it was made with hypnotic yarns, plush decay uh, in their mossy hollow. Here it is, sorry, I should be showing it while I'm talking about it. Uh, the green is mossy hollow colorway and I don't remember the orange right now, but I just actually snipped all the, I wove all the ends in and then just left them hanging. So yesterday, I, I oh, this morning, um, I snipped all the ends. So here it is. I think it's great. I could have it where the orange shows. I could have it where the green ribbing shows. Um, I could pull it up over my head if I wanted to play um, a peasant in my local play. <laughs> or <laughs> if my ears were cold. Sorry, the pollen count is so high here. So I'm hoping what I have is allergies. I sure am hoping. And I'm sucking frantically on a cough drop. But this seems really warm. Fortunately, I mean, unfortunately, I did not finish it in time to wear it outside. So here it is with the green up. So these are great because you can tuck them underneath your jacket and it keeps your chest warm. And you don't have to worry about ends. And so I really like these cowls. They don't do very much for my chin, but there you go. Okay, anyway. So this, again, this really squishy yarn. DK yarn, mm -mm -mm. DK weight, my favorite weight. Should be looking at the camera instead of staring off into the sunset. All right, so there's that finished object. Very pleased with that. And I love that I am using my hypnotic yarn because I have so much of it. All right, uh, the other things that I finished, and I'll put pictures up of these because I've given these away. Last episode, I said I wanted to make a prayer shawl for a friend of mine at work who had lost their son. Um, and so I made uh, the South Bay Shawlette by Line Brand Yarns. Um, I started that January 26th and I finished it February 5th and gave that to her. I made it from Lion Brands Mandala Ombre. Is that what I made it from? No, I'm sorry. I made it from uh, the Shawl in a Ball, or Shawl, yeah, Shawl in a Ball, Lion Brands Shawl in a Ball, and I made this with the colorway um, Mindful Mauve. And it was a fun project, a fast project, and the recipient was very happy with it and really liked it. And it's told me so multiple times, so I thought that was good. And then the last thing that I made was, I can't even read my own handwriting, excuse me, while I consult my book, my notes. Um, I made a What a Mesh bottle holder by Goddess Crochet. Um, out of Mandala Ombre in the, oh man, I wasn't going to forget and then I forgot. I don't know, some kind of orangey pink colorway. And I uh, finished that, February, started it February 4th, finished it February 4th. It was really fast. And I'm very happy with that. It was really cute. Now I need to make one for me. Should I ever go hiking? Which someday is my plan. All right, so that's four things finished. So I felt really good because I felt like I was stalling out in my making and just feeling kind of bleh. I think I suffer from seasonal depression and this time of year is a little bit hard. Although it is only, it is 6.40 in the evening right now and there's still a tiny smidgen of light in the sky. It hasn't gone completely dark. It's like a twilight and that makes me happy that it's getting lighter later. I really love it when the time changes. I know a lot of people don't like it, the, the spring forward, fall back. But to me, it's just another way to mark the seasons. And since I'm a teacher and I'm off in the summers, I love light later. Makes me very happy. 
Anyway, I'm glad my making has gotten a kick in the pants, so to speak. All right, so let's move on to what I am working on. I have been spending a lot of time and effort on my contrast blast socks. This was a Stephen West knit along from July uh, 2023. I started July 6th. I'm making this with knit style yarns in the colorways Amethyst and Emerald. I think I won these or maybe I purchased these because I won something from her. I can't remember. But here is my sock. Again, it's not blocked. I just finished it this morning. Oh, that emerald is beautiful. I hope the color is showing good on the camera. I mean, it looks good here, but except I think the purple is turning out more blue. Yeah, that looks pretty blue. So the purple is not true. A little bit better there. Um, I am making the size two. I struggled picking these back up. I think when I, oh, look at the heel. The heel's so cute. Um, when I picked these back up, I had just finished the gusset decreases. And so I was just on the foot. And once I got into the swing of things, it was pretty good. I mean, I'll show you where I made some mistakes. Like you can see them <laughs> right there. Do you see it? Do you see it? Look at that beautiful line. And then what the heck, what the heck? Um, but I don't care. I did not get to do the pattern. <laughs> There's some more mistakes. I did not get to do the pattern the way it said, because there were some rows towards the toe that I was already at um, the length I needed for my foot. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, I just skipped those rows. And then again, because I am a relatively new knitter, I'm not very good at knitting and I don't count and I can't read my knitting, I messed up and I kept forgetting what my beginning around is. I don't know if you can tell, but I kept leaving off the pattern and just doing knitting straight. Is that called stockinette? I think um, instead of doing the the two row repeat, but again, I don't care. I'm very proud of myself for completing this sock and I've already started the next sock. I've decided to do it in reverse color order. Actually, I'd started the next sock when I started this one because I was gonna work on them in tandem. And now I can't find the, <laughs> I finished the cuff, which is a bummer because I really hate rib, I hate knitting rib, but um, I can't find it and I don't care because now I'm switching the arm. So I started, I've got two rows done or the cast on and a row, I guess is what I have done on my cuff. So this one, the, the main color was purple, the I mean green, the emerald, and now it's going to be amethyst and they'll just be in reverse. And I'm interested to see how that goes because I have never done that. I'm keeping this project in my splash pad party bag, um, which was an Adornet 2023 bag for Down Cellar Studios Splash Pad Party. Highly recommend this. If you are not doing this, I don't know why, but it hasn't started yet, so I do know why. So that was a really fun, I just felt really good about getting back into that. And it, I really delighted in the, having to concentrate on the knitting. Like that was pretty good. Maybe though it wasn't really hard knitting. I just needed to concentrate because I'm a crocheter. I don't knit. <laughs> Oddly enough though, my next pattern is also knit. Oh, did I tell you, um, let me see. In my finished items, the Magic Hill socks were knit. The cowl was knit. The South Bay Chalette was crocheted and the bottle holder was crocheted also. So this is my habitation throw. Am I dropping stitches? Yes, I am. I just dropped a whole bunch. Little shoot fire. One moment while I haphazardly pick up stitches. This is by Helen Stewart, and it was um, a pattern, a project I started. I started March 19th, 2021, using my 2020 Advent yarn from Suburban Stitcher. And I am just going so slow on this.
All right, you can probably hear my family in the background, my husband in the background. I'm also sorry I'm having to pick up all these stitches. I'm not doing a very good job of it. Have I said I don't know how to knit? Okay, all right. Well, I dropped a couple stitches still, but I'll fix it later. All right, so this is my habitation throw. It is a fade, so one skein, two skein, three skein, four skein, five skein, six skein. I think I'm on the sixth skein right here. I'm about finished with that one. Um, I loved the colors of this advent so much. I could not believe how much I loved it. I had never really seen an actual fade before like this. I loved it. Now I'm going to tell you looking, working on these light, like the wider yarns, I don't really enjoy, although I have enjoyed like the pops of brown in this. So it'll, it'll change it. It'll change. Like I've seen all the skeins cause I opened them, but this is very squishy, nice yarn. This project is really nice. This is fingering weight yarn on a, I don't know what size needle this is, but it's a pretty big needle. And I like working on the project. I think I got frustrated because it was taking me a long time to knit. And I thought that the way the pattern worked, I think these were 20 gram mini skeins. I thought you just put the whole 20 grams in. And then I was looking at patterns, like other people's projects on this pattern. And, um, <coughs> so sorry. Uh, they were doing 10 grams. And I was like, what? <laughs> what is going to happen to my blanket? Is it going to be humongous? Am I going to hate it? How do I know when to finish it? It's worked corner to corner. So it's worked on the bias, I guess. And I just was trying to see how it would work. Like, how do I know when I've reached midway? I wasn't quite sure. But I've decided um, I'm just going to keep working with it. I keep all of the skeins in their little bags. And it's got, I'm sorry, these are all beat up. It has a number of the day. Oh, that was day five. I'm not even on day six. Um, and then I just add in the next color when I'm ready for it. <coughs> I'm not going to have any leftovers. I'm putting all of it in the blanket. And when the blanket is big enough and I decrease and finish it, if I have yarn left over, I'm just going to start another one. So maybe I'll have twin blankets, like throws, I guess, um, that'll coordinate together and fade. I don't care. It's fine. I mean, these are my rules. Why am I so hung up about following rules that I set up in my own head? I can break them. I'm the boss. So it's taking me a little bit to get over this. I have control issues over myself. Very strange. So those are the two things I am working on um, right now. Uh, what else is going on? Okay, so... I want to finish some whips or get close to finishing some whips so that I can finish them during the, the splash pad party to get points because whips count. So if I get down to the toe of my contrast splash socks, I may hold that off and finish that when the splash pad party starts so I can count that as a project. And um, I was looking for another project, oddly enough, knitting, even though I'm mostly a crocheter. I had started back in 2019. Is that what my thing says? Yes. The Marley Birds Tournament of Stitches Shawl. And I was really eager to get back to that. It was some mosaic knitting portions that I'd never done before. And I was having such a blast with it. And then I got to like a stair step part of the pattern and I got off my counts, messed it up, didn't know how to get back on. I couldn't read the pattern. I just got mad at it, put it in a corner and I thought I knew where the corner was. Well, I determined now, you know, I finished some things. I'm ready to have some more knitting on my plate and I was gonna go back and finish that. Plus I'm trying to get rid of some yarn. Um, I'm giving it to my crochet club girls and guys at, uh, but mostly girls, at school, and I was trying to just get rid of some yarn, but I don't want to get rid of stuff that I want to use. So I wanted to figure out what I needed to keep. I wanted to finish that project. I can't find the project. I have no clue where it is. Now the nice thing is, we're fixing to have new floors put in. We're going to have to pack up everything in my room, 
pack up everything in the living room and that's where I keep my yarn in those two places mostly so I'm bound to find the project so that's the bonus of having to clean everything up which is a big hassle so hopefully I'll find it but I was so like yeah I'm gonna work on it let me go get it I know exactly where it is oh it's not there okay I know where it could be oh it's not there okay I know where it might be it's not there and I was like what I mean yes I'm a stasher <laughs> I do have some more secret places where I hide my yarn, but I thought I knew where they all were. And I don't. So I wanna find that and finish that. And then I want to start, re or finish, I had started the Rocket Tea by Tannis Lavallee in June, 2022. And haven't even joined for the body. I've just been working on the back, I think. And I like it, but I you have to purl. And I don't like that part. So I'm wait, waiting. I'm eager to get to the round, going in the round, so I don't have to purl so much. And uh, I want to do that, but I'm not quite ready yet. I think I'm just going to work on these contrast blast socks. And then when I get close to finishing that, then I'll look for those. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Well, now I need to find a crochet project because I feel guilty. I'm not crochet, but I do crochet at school. I did make a um, a ribbed headband, uh, but I gave that to my mom and I forgot to get pictures. That was a pretty easy make. Um, anyway, yeah. Okay, what else is going on? Okay, acquisitions, that's what's going on. I have a lot. <laughs> okay, I haven't done my acquisitions in a while. In January, I had gotten my Yarnable, and then I did a video for it, and then I never posted it. So, the January Yarnable, <coughs> pardon me, I get the, um, so Yarnable is a subscription um, by Hypnotic Yarns. And they do not, they have openings like three times a year. So get on their waiting list, their mailing list, and they'll let you know when their openings happen. Then you can get on there. So January 24 was How Time Flies. I get the Plush DK, which is 8515 um, Superwash Merino and Nylon. And I get the Contrasting Mini. So my Mini is Clockwork Dreams, a 50 gram skein. So there's the mini, this beautiful pink, although it's looking peach on my monitor, my screen. And then there's the yarn. So I think that's very pretty. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I guess it will be socks, but it doesn't look like it's gonna, will it stripe? I don't know. If it's just gonna pull, I need to look at what other people have done to see if I like their socks. And if I don't like it, then I'm gonna do something else with it. But so soft, so soft. And then it came with, you always get extra goodies. So it came with these, um, by Yarnable, these um, stitch counters. So you put these little stitch markers, like if you're chaining, um, so you can count. It has like up to 100, a couple of those. So I thought that was really good. And then some try-on tubing that you put on your needle so you can try on your sweaters. I'll need that for my rocket tee. And then some stitch markers. I think this came with it. Did it come with it? Maybe this came with something else, but I'm gonna show them anyway. Some stitch markers that are beautiful. Little, where's the camera? Little jewels. in a larger size than what I had these were. These are knitting stitch markers. So the bad thing about my knitting stitch markers is when I finish, I usually knit in the round with um, um, a magic loop, is that what it's called? Where the, <coughs> I am so sorry, where the needles are connected, so not straight needles like this, it's all on one needle with a cord in between, one cord with needles, on the outside, I don't know how to explain it. But when I'm done with my, when I get done with the row or whatever, and I get to the 
to the end of the needle, I throw it down. Well, if I have a stitch marker on it, the stitch marker goes flying. So that's the bad thing. So I guess I need a lot of those so that when I lose them, I have more. So that's good. And I like the cute little pouches. I have plans for these pouches for when the new school year starts. I want to make, see if I can crochet over them. Oh, there's my other thing. And uh, like crochet over them and make little pencil pouches with crochet on the outside. That way they're already lined on the inside. Wouldn't that be cool? Attic 24 has a, um, a tutorial for this. So I want to try it. Um, we also got, I also got a little um, a progress keeper, 2024 clock, which I really loved this, especially because when I got this, I, we were, uh, my husband and I were watching Loki, the newest episodes, and that has a lot to do with time. So I thought that was kind of funny. It made me laugh. I need to use that 2024 progress keeper. I'm just not organized. School, my work is cutting into my life. It needs to stop. Okay, so that's that. Then I got my February Yarnival. That was a fun one. So February, um, you get a little card. It's about, um, it was about love is love. And you got, I got a mini pouch by Quotable. Mine is There is Beauty in Being Kind, Walt Whitman, which I love. So I've been saving these so I could show you and then I'm going to use them. I got, um, what is this called? Tea on a Stick. It's a gourmet tea. It dissolves in water. Tea pop, passion fruit, punch tea. It smells amazing. And my yarn smells amazing because of it. And I haven't done that, but I need to. And then I got a... Um, Anna Soaps, Anna Soaps, Lotion Bar, Goddess of Love. It's like a lip balm for the rest of your body. Now this sucker has some patchouli, patchouli, and it's pretty, I don't know. I don't like musky smells, so it's borderline musky smell. But I'm also, I love goodies that are mine. <laughs> so I'm keeping this for a while, and then maybe I'll give it to my daughter. I don't know. And then the yarn, see that other one had a blue bag. I can't zip this back up. This one has a green zipper. That'd be cute. A little couch. Okay. I put my yarn up. Okay, so love is love. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And then the contrasting Mini is Kindred Spirit. Look, that's beautiful. And it matches right there, right there, right there, right there. Love it. I just love to look at them. And I put them back in their little pouches. And then eventually I work on them and make them into fantastic objects. That's my, one of my goals for this year is to use up more of my yarn. And I have plans, but I don't want to talk about them too much until I've actually started them. So, okay. And then my last one, I just got the March one. So if you haven't seen March, it's only March 3rd. If you haven't seen Marches, look away because I'm going to show it. That was February. So March came and mine was a red top bag. Okay, look away, turn it off for like two minutes. Here we grow again. It came with an eco-friendly sulfate-free vegan hair care travel size shampoo bar from Zoe of the Natural Spa Cosmetics. A company whose products promote a low waste and eco-conscious lifestyle. Okay, well, I'm taking this out and I put it in my shower. I'm going to use it because I really have always wanted to try a shampoo bar, but I've been scared of spending the money if I don't like it because I'm very picky. I mean, it doesn't look like I'm picky about my hair, but I'm very picky about how my hair feels. So, excited. This scent is a uh, rose lavender grapefruit. <laughs> so, putting that aside, it came with... <coughs> Paper Sushi's Yarn Ball Sheep 
markers that effortlessly mark the right and wrong sides of your projects because they have lobster clasps. Well, I don't like lobster clasps, but I do like progress keepers. So it says right side and wrong side. Those are cute. Love it, love it, love it. That is a veteran-owned business, a husband and wife team. Oh, we thank you for shopping small and for being you. Awesome being that you are. That is sweet. And then a pin um, from Yarnable saying, go away. I'm knitting. Mm. So, love that. And then the yarn. Okay, now this disappointed me at first because I was expecting green. The first year I got Yarnable, their, their March colorway was a Celtic green and blue. Loved it. The second year... I think it was a green loved it the third year am i already on the fourth year maybe i made up the second year the next year <laughs> it was a white with leprechaun speckles so it had like rainbow speckles lots of green like what you find at the other rainbow loved that i thought this would be a green which is my favorite color but then it wasn't a green but looking at it more and more i'm not disappointed anymore because it's beautiful so uh this is here we grow again so it is a bluey with pops of purple. And then the con the coordinating skein is buttercup. Now that buttercup, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Beautiful. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I don't know if that's gonna be socks. That may be a stripey project. I don't know, I just need time to knit. I need to quit, I need to retire. Need to, need to, need to. Working on it. Probably not gonna happen soon enough. Okay, I'm sorry, there's still more acquisitions. Okay, so uh, Boston Jen's mom um, has a, a nonprofit, or could, is running a nonprofit, contributes to a nonprofit, something about a nonprofit, fearless, living and it the money that they're raising for this they're doing a fundraiser um Boston Jen's mom has stage four cancer and she wants to leave a legacy and so in I want to say it's in Nevada but they have a conference center that is run staffed by um vision impaired and blind people and they're training them to, you know, they work, they work so they can have money. But most of the people that live there or that were, that um, are trained there live below the poverty line. So they're trying to fund some of the people so they have housing or cell phones or things that they need to live. And I think that's beautiful. And I really love Boston Jen. She's brought so much joy to my life. And I really love her mom because she's so funny. And I wanted to contribute. So I bought... Um, they're fearless. Uh, this is Legacy Fiber Arts was doing a fundraiser. She had a colorway fearless, which is a four ply DK weight, 7525. Look at that. Would that go well with that? No. Huh, would it? Look at that. That's pretty close. So I thought that was beautiful. I wanted to contribute. I feel like I bought something else to contribute, but I don't know what it what it is. So I don't know if it's coming. I need to check. And then last but not least, Dragon Horde Fibers is doing this. Um uh Dragon Riders yarns. And so uh they've dyed yarns in honor of their favorite um, dragon riders and dragons. And so I got the colorway, this is fingering, myth fingering. I appreciate the elevation to deity, but my name will do. Look at that. I just couldn't resist these because I love to read. And I love dragons. And then this one is, um, the colorway is, you gave me your heart 
and I'm keeping it. I don't know what book that is, but I got to read that. Whatever this line came from, I need to look it up because <clears throat> that's romantic. So now to sum up. Oh, and I got a sticker that's also on my cup. I need to find another place for the sticker. Oh, and they gave me um, bookmarkers that look like little book tags and you can rate your books. Let's see. I almost finished Aragon. I finished Fourth Wing. I finished Iron Flame. I've never read Red Word Dragons, Red Pen, Pen Word Dragons, and I've never read Ascendant. So that'll be good summer things. Sorry, there's notification on my phone. All right, the last thing is, <clears throat> um, let me make an announcement. Um, Earth Tones Girl, and I thought she was doing a Ravelry page for this, and I cannot find it. Does she have a group? I couldn't find it. Anyway, she is doing a cow that is reading and knitting or something like that, reading and making, and she wants the yarn or the project to be something book related and I have well these these I don't know what they come from I need to look to see if I can read these books if I haven't read them before oh my gosh they're so pretty and then um I got uh Toad Hollow had a Toad DK which is 100% superwash merino and it was Remarkably Bright, Bright Creatures which is an amazing book that I loved and didn't finish it was an audiobook I was listening to, and I didn't finish it. But now, I can finish it and make something with this. It's beautiful. So, I don't know. I want to. I don't know when the cow ends. I hope it's not over. I hope it goes on for a long time, because I know it was announced a while ago. All right. Oh, my gosh. Other life stuff. I told you about the floors. Spring breaks in a week. Super excited. Of course, we'll be spending all of our time packing up and cleaning, but that's okay. My husband is off work until April due to his um, his injury. And so we're spending lots of time together. And we'll spend lots of time together cleaning up. My daughter is getting closer and closer to graduation from high school. So her stuff is just getting busy. She had a great concert the other day that I was so proud of and she's been on a retreat just picked her up from that today a choir retreat where they work on music and get ready for a contest they have um my dad just turned 76 and so my sister and I I wrote a song um well I didn't write the song I wrote the lyrics to accompany 76 trombones and I'll put a little bit of that in here now and or in a minute um so we did that and he was really pleased with that so that was fun I went to a um, Eucharist or a litur liturgical minister's retreat at my church. I haven't been doing anything churchy in a long time, and it felt so good. And so there is a mission for a Lenten mission coming up, of course, during spring break, which I'm kind of bummed about. But um, I'm going to go to some of that. I don't know if I'll go to all of that. It's five days, I think. I don't know if I'll do all of that. But I'm going to do some. So I'm looking. That's some of my teeth. Uh I'm going to do some of that and we're getting closer and closer to summer and I am there for it. Ready, 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 ready. I've been going to every retirement seminar I can go to. This is my year 30 of teaching. Um, teachers in my category of teaching or my age, <laughs> if your age plus your years of service equal 80, which mine did last year, you can retire and I'm scared. I don't know how I'll afford it. So I'm hesitant with money. I don't take care of money very well. So I'm looking forward to like, I'm diving into that and finally putting on my big girl pants and acting like a grown up to figure that out. Um, oh, and then I am reading my book I'm reading currently on my Kindle, my iPad actually, <coughs> my Kindle app. Oh, sorry. You can see my ring light. Where can you not see it? Nowhere. Um, House of Flame and Shadow by Sarah J. Moss. 
and I did not understand the beginning of this book, but now all the action's happening and I'm in for it. But at the beginning, it's a lot of characters. My mom was always saying, I can't read this book until I write down all the characters because I'm getting confused and now I feel like her. So, but it's good and I need to finish because I know two other people are waiting for this book. Probably 42 other people are waiting for this book. So I need to finish it. Plus I already have stuff lined up. Okay, I have talked your ear off for 40 minutes, so I'm going to put in a video that I made for my cousin's son who was in the hospital for a long time and he needed some cheering up. And so my uh, inquisitive gnome video is for cousin E. I just thought you'd like it. Y'all have a great week, great couple of weeks, and I'll see you soon. And someday I'm going to sign off real classy and not be looking for my remote. Or have the remote not work. <laughs>